Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to Supercharged Manifesting, where every week we talk about using the law of attraction, in essence, the principles of the law of attraction to create results in our lives and most importantly in our business. And I know that's kind of a crazy concept uh, for those of you who may have never ventured into using the law of attraction to create business results. But here in our family and in our community and our tribe, when we get on every Monday morning and we talk about manifesting, it's from that angle. Like how do we use this powerful law to our advantage? And we're talking about manifesting as a tool. So every Monday morning we kick off our week by using the tool of manifesting. So we make a list of what are the top three things that we want to manifest in our lives and in our business this week. And we kind of, we're always talking about how we ditched the to-do list and we're now creating a manifested list. So those of you that are just joining us, grab a cup of coffee, a sheet, you know, a cup of coffee, a sheet of paper, because you know, I always, I'm always talking, but there's always something to take note of. And as you can see, I have an amazing guest with me this morning. Say hi. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna be hearing from her in a little bit because last week I promised you that we were gonna take all of this kind of, you know. You talk into the universe and, and talking to God and using manifesting as a tool. And this week I was going to have a real life example, a real person talk about how this has worked in her life. And what's beautiful, I'm going to invite you all to jump over into our official community, the Science of Getting Rich group. There's a link here that you can just join. But what's beautiful is unbeknownst to me, Another member of our family posted a video last week about using these tools to create just one client that brought in $30,000 for his business. And um, it was so amazing because this is what this is all about. It's how do you take these abstract sounding, it's like how do I use the law of gravity to create business in my, you know, to create business results. That's kind of like what it is, right? So. I, again, for those of you that are joining for the first time, my name is Tasha Chen, and I love, the thing that makes me passionate and on fire is that I figured out for me how to create results in my life and business using these principles. And I love, love, love teaching entrepreneurs who I meet, and I find that they're struggling, they're feeling overwhelmed, they, they lack clarity, and most of all, they're not making the kind of money that they would like to make. And I show them and teach them how to use these principles to get massive results in their business. And for the last week or so, we've been talking about, you know, okay, when it comes to these results that you want in your business, how to ask for them. And you'll remember I had my big jar last week that I showed you, you know, this is one of my energetic ways of asking. And I went from a smaller jar to this big one, which is five times. And I said, it can be as simple as that, like just energetically ask for more. And it's crazy because all week I've been finding lots and lots of money everywhere. So I know that my request is, has been heard. Uh, and so we talked about asking for big things from the universe. But today I wanna to bring it down to, and that's why I have Ember on, because I wanna ask her to share, there comes a period where, you know, it says that we need people in order to get the results that we want in our lives. Like we're asking the universe, but the truth is, we are, no man is an island, right? We need each other. So I need, in order for my big request to the universe to manifest, I need to be engaging with other people because it's through people that I'm gonna receive, right? So this week, I wanna talk about asking other people. How do you, how do you make a commitment to move that needle in your business by simply asking other human beings for what you want? Because here is what I know. Let's, let's take it out of the spiritual and the way out there and just bring it down to reality earth, normal, everyday life, okay? And so here's the thing. We need to ask in a big way for the big things, and that's where our faith comes in. That's where you journal, you visualize, you intend, and you put it out there. 
you know, dear God, my desire is to fill the American Airlines arena so that people come from all over the world to hear my message, that you're delivering through me for them. That is my big dream. However, do you notice, I need people <laughs> to be in that arena, which means I'm going to have to talk to people to tell them, I have this great message to share with you. I have this great way to teach you how to live. And so I understand that as much as I'm asking for God to create all the opportunities that need to manifest, I, in the equation, need to be talking to people. I need to be asking other people to either allow me to teach them or allow me uh, or bring me opportunities. I need to be asking other people. And so I want to encourage you that um, this asking, there's two phases to it. There's one asking the universe for the big thing. And then there's the other piece, which is activating your own free will. It's where you say, okay, now that I know I've asked and the things that need to happen are on its way, there's the other piece, which is me talking to other people, asking or telling them. And by telling them, you're also asking, right, for the things that you want, which brings me to Amber. So I met Amber, and it's a really cool story because I kind of stalk her. <laughs> a little bit um, on Facebook, but you know, this is just kind of the way it works. And if you're obedient to this process, you'll see how you get inspired to do things. And the next piece is then to do it. So I shared last week how I got inspired to ask if I could speak at an event. I got invited to the event just to attend. And then I got inspired to ask, can I speak at the event? So I asked the host if I could speak. And she was, I think, a little bit shocked. <laughs> and then she figured out that she could give me 15 minutes. I spoke for 15 minutes, and that led to $48,000 of business for me within 30 days. For me, to me, 15 minutes for $48,000 is incredible. But that would not have happened had I not asked another person to give me the opportunity for what I wanted right? You see, I could have showed up at that event, sat there as an attendee, and really nothing much would have happened. I would have gotten some content and more knowledge. God knows I'm maxed out with knowledge, right? But I could have gotten more knowledge. I could have met a few really great people, came home, feel good. But my big desire to impact more people and get them to do this work might not have manifested had I not asked her to speak. So really hear what I'm saying. This week, I'm talking about asking other people. You know who you need to ask for those opportunities. You know who you need to ask to work with you. You know the people that you're led to serve, and you just need to ask them, are you ready, right? So this week, it's about asking other people. And so I met Amber, saw her online, and um, she posted one day, actually, uh, you know, somehow we're in the same circles and, you know, you do the polite thing, you friend each other. And so that was that. But then one day she made a post. It was, I think, a Friday morning that said, as she's bawling in her car, I'm going in to go quit my job. <laughs> and I was like, this girl is brave. She's a badass. <laughs> like, who does that, you know? Post the most vulnerable moment on Facebook. I'm going in to quit my job. I'm going to declare right now that I'm going to start doing my own thing for me. And I didn't know this girl from Adam, but I fell in love immediately. That is my kind of person. So I continued watching her on Facebook. And then one day I was just like, again, I just got the inkling, go meet her, like invite her to coffee. I don't know why. I mean, I'm busy as it is, but I'm obedient, right? So I got inspired. And what did I do? I asked her. Now, she could have said, you are a total freak. Who are you? <laughs> You're a stalker. <laughs> no way am I meeting you for coffee unless it's super public. But I asked her and she said yes. And our lives, I believe, intertwined that day we met in a way that that particular day, I'm not sure that either of us knew what would happen next. But we, we were both committed to, let's just see where this goes, because we follow the process. So Amber, I'm not going to steal your thunder at all. I'm going to allow you to share, you know, in the context of just inspiring other people through your own story of having the courage to ask. So if you'll kind of start with, 
you know, coming to the event. So I invited Amber, or the next little piece I want to just put in, I invited Amber to come and serve at my event. I could have easily said, can you attend? It'll be a great event. You know, I'm sure it's something that you need. Clearly, manifesting is your thing. You know, come attend as an event. But I got inspired to ask her to come and serve. So she came for the weekend and I asked her, now asking somebody to volunteer, obviously there is no pay, there is nothing. It's just like, will you? But I asked, I was willing to ask her. And I kind of look at Amber as kind of like way up there. She's a very successful woman, very successful entrepreneur, you know. And so kind of having the courage to ask, will you come volunteer at my event? Took a lot of humility on my part, but I asked and she said yes. And that's what I want you to start to get, how they ask, and you'll get yes, right? So Amber said, yeah, she comes to the event, she serves incredibly all weekend, and then, Amber, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the gist of it is that, you know, throughout the entire weekend, um, and Tasha didn't know this, but I was in a bit of a financial bind, um, and... <clears throat> I was just like, I know this is leading somewhere and I know that I want to be a part of wherever it's leading the whole time, just this enormous pulling on my spirit to be involved. And I didn't know the cost, I didn't know anything, but I just kept hearing this voice in the back of my head that kept saying, just ask. And I kept worrying about the how, like, but how am I going to do this? Even if it's, you know, a thousand dollars, we just don't have it right now. We'll just ask and I was like okay so by the end of the weekend just I mean an entire shift if you talk to Diane she has her own story about what happened with me that weekend I went from like this very Eeyore if you're a fan of Winnie the Pooh dark <laughs> cloud over my head to like a ray of sunshine right? Because my entire perspective shifted. So by the end of the event, I was just like, okay, I can't do this without the blessing of my fiance. I need to go home. I need to talk with him. And then by the time I talked with him, I just said, look, here's the deal. Here's the financial situation. I don't care if I have to lift an Uber drive for the next two or three years. I'm going to be a part of this. <laughs> and he was just like okay do it and the thing I love about him and I've shared this with Tasha and Diane is that he's very much on the same same wavelength as me when it comes to God will provide if you're obedient God will provide so he's just like obey so I did I sent Tasha a text and I was like look I don't know how this is gonna work but I have to ask you can we figure out like some sort of scenario where this works out and we did we worked together and I started the program I actually as soon as I came back from that event that weekend he and Darren and I sat down and I said there are three things we are gonna do without fail every day we are gonna visualize we are going to meditate and we are gonna write down our gratitudes <clears throat> and we did e ever since <laughs> ever since we've done those three things so the great so i want to i want to i want to ask you because you sent me a text that sunday night and this was even before you asked i think or i'm not sure but i know it was the last night of the event and you sent me a text and you said pretty much you have no idea what this weekend did for me because things have been so scary yes. right and we all know like so scary i literally have X amount left in the bank, yep. not enough to cover my mortgage, my bills, my anything, right? And I've even been having crazy thoughts of what I could do to like bring the money in, right? Do you remember that text? Yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah, absolutely. We had, when we moved here, we moved here from Indiana a little bit less than a year ago. Um, Darren cashed out his 401k. Wow. I used all of my savings. Um, and this again was something that the move to Florida was something that I manifested at the age of 18. I started saying, I want to live somewhere warmer. I want to live in Florida. 
Um, and it took me this long, but it happened. <laughs> um, so he cashed out his 401k um, between down payments on the house, between buying furniture, buying everything that goes along with the house, um, me quitting my job. You know, when, when we moved here, I took on a new job. It was awful. <laughs> it was so bad. And within four months, I was like, I am not cut out for this. I need to go back to doing what I love. That's where I'm going to see fruit. Right. So I did. I quit my job. Um, and so we had whittled down to where we literally had less than one month left in our bank account. Wow. One month of living expenses being rent. This isn't even to pay credit card payments, none of that. Rent, electricity, and utilities. Maybe. Wow. Maybe. Wow. So for me to simply have the faith to ask and to have the faith that what you're saying is 100% correct, and I've known this for years, I just haven't practiced it. Right. I know something here, but until you put it into action. Yes. It's, it's not going to do anything for you. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it was that simple act of, um, of sending that text message and just saying, how can we make this work? <laughs> and we did. And so tell me, so, you know, I, I applaud you and I want everybody listening to hear what Amber is really saying. Like she had the courage just to ask. She had no idea even, it wasn't even like cashing towards water. I got two oranges and a banana. <laughs> like it was, I literally have no idea how it can work, but I know that I'm being led to ask you. And through the asking, I'm going to get the opportunity to get what I want, right? Exactly. And what's interesting, I want to share with you, because I want you to understand like how this all works. At the event, so the event ends, it's Sunday night, I'm saying thank you to everyone, and of course there's Amber standing at the back of the room, and I say, oh my God, thank you so much, you are such an incredible asset, and oh, by the way, she happens to mention, oh, thank you for giving me the opportunity, because actually in another life, I used to run events, large events for really famous people, I was like, what? You never <laughs> once said that, so look at that, right? She never told me that. But I got led to ask her to volunteer this person who knows how to run events that I have no idea she has that gift and talent, but I was obedient and look at the gift that I got, right? And then she's standing there that weekend at the end of the weekend and it is written all over <laughs> her that she wants to do my program. I mean, she looked like a little kid at the end of dinner wanting to ask for another plate of food. And you could just look at the kid and tell, like, they want, they want dessert, you know? And I'm looking at her, and one of the things that I know, so I want you to hear this really keenly, right? I know that I could have said, do you want to do our program? Is it something you can afford? Can you, can you know, like... Oh my God, I love you. Thank you so much for being here this weekend. I can, let's figure out how I can make it work for you. Like I could have, but I would have robbed her. And I saw plain as day written all over her that she wanted to do this program. But I understand this process so well that I knew it was important for her success more than anything that she needed to ask me. So I want you to think of it like this. Right now, there's people out there that have the opportunities you want. There are clients that are willing to pay for your highest package that you have. <laughs> there are, you know, um, just relationships. There, everything that you need is literally right there, right there in front of you. And it all knows that you want it. They all know that, you know, you're their person. Everything that is meant for you knows it's meant for you. But your part is you must activate free will. You must ask. And so that's what was beautiful. And I'm so grateful that I was obedient to the process by not just saying here because she wouldn't have gotten the gift, the lesson, the message, the anything and be in her power the way she is now because her asking me was truly a miracle for her in the way that we were able to make it work, right? 
and and now you know. So tell us, like, okay, so we we got that part squared away. Your inner program, it's crazy wild. But what are some of the things that you continue to ask? Like you you know you're like, oh, I I know this works. I need to practice it, right? So you continue to ask, and what? Yeah. yeah so um, literally, God in His infinite wisdom said, "Okay, she did it." <laughs> here, let me deliver. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, um, within two days, I get after the after the event, I hadn't even officially started the program yet. But just because I took the initiative to say, can we make it work? He said, here you go. Yeah, here is a client that contacted you a year ago that fell off the face of the planet. But all of a sudden, here they are, they're back two days after the manifesting event. <laughs> after you've been taking the time to journal, after you've been taking the time to meditate on what I have for your life, here you go. Here it is. A two right? day. Two, two days. days. Oh it gets God. better. That was a $2,040 a month contract. Two days after that, I'm like, huh, this just asking thing works. Let me reach out to another client that I really enjoyed working with because I have clients in my past that have been just total nightmares. Yeah. Um, I don't want them because that's not easy and relaxed. I want my people, right? I want to work with those people that make me smile, that make me enjoy my job every day. So I reached out to um, another client and he's like, that's crazy that you should ask. We ah. just <laughs> we just started a new initiative and we need some marketing help. Can you work up a proposal for me? It's a yes. There's another client, right? And I've written, I had to write everything down before this call because there's so much stuff that keeps happening. So two days later, another client from uh, Buffalo, New York reaches out to me to have, uh, have me do a blog for him to write a blog. Um, I took care of that. It was a small bit, but I was so grateful because I needed that money in that moment. Mm. Um, two days after that, another old client reaches out, right? Two days after that, a spa consultant. So my company is a digital marketing company. My niche is hospitality industry, right? So I take care of uh, bed and breakfast, hotels, resorts. And what I do is... I fly my team to their location, photograph, do video, collect enough content for between six months to a year so they don't have to do anything to take care of their blogging, their YouTube, everything. So uh, she reaches out to me. We had been in a mastermind together and she's like, I can't afford you for, you know, everything, but what I would love to do is have you do some project management and social media um, strategy. And I'm like, I can do that. There's another contract. She refers me to somebody else. Another contract. Oh my God. Lisa Montgomery. <laughs> oh, Lisa. <laughs> oh, Lisa. <laughs> Reaches out to me a couple of days later and she says, Hey, remember that guy that I was telling you about in Costa Rica who has that luxury resort? And I'm like, Yes. <laughs> oh, she God. was ready to talk. So I spoke with him yesterday. And um, he's totally on board. He has to convince one other person, but I'm fully intending that that is a yes. Um, and that is going to be almost a $5,000 client a month. Whoop, whoop. Wow. Um, yes. And the final piece <laughs> is my spa consultant. Your mouth, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> the final piece is a spa consultant um, who signed the contract with me connected me with another lady in Costa Rica who's developing a sort of bed and breakfast concept, but it's a large bed and breakfast. It's kind of in between B&B &B and resort. Okay. Um, concept is exactly what we practice here. It's a place for people to come and manifest what they want. It's a place for them to come and do yoga, for them to get creative, for them to come up with all of the ideas to create exactly what they want in their life. So, um, it's in the development stages right now, but she needs a social media person to take over her social and exchange for that. She's offering me a portion of the business. Yes. <laughs> what? 
Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. I, let me just remember, this is not a private moment. Like, you're all watching. Oh, my God. Amber, that is crazy. Wow. I mean, okay, so when you texted me last night and there's more, and I'm like, great, surprise me. <laughs> surprise. I am shocked. But it couldn't be any more beautiful, right? Because there are people right now who have expressed the desire maybe to own a hotel, to have a million dollars, and they don't know how it's going to happen. They're, you know, they can't see the how. And here, here you are just going about your business, living the certain way, doing, continuing to ask. Yes. And my God, you could become the owner, part owner of a business in Costa Rica. That's crazy. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, for sharing it all. It's been incredible to watch you unfold and manifest. And, um, I know there are some of you that are that are watching and obviously I bring people on I you know my thing is I want you to see real people living this stuff like going from wherever they were to what's happening today because they're practicing the tools that I jump on here every morning and I, and I said last week these are business tools this is business success <laughs> like at its best I, I promise you strategy and tactics and all of that is good and it has its place and time, but let this be your foundation. Like let your belief and your faith and asking and these manifesting tools be the way that you create results that blow your mind. And so what do I want you to do today? I want to inspire all of you. Kick this week off by committing in the comments. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you Amber, but here's, I'm going to share mine. I'm going to ask you, Sit back for a moment and think. And I know how this works. Sometimes you don't even need to think. You already know. I need, there is a person I need to talk to. I've known I need to talk to that person. I've known I need to reach out. I know, you know, there may be three people. It may be your ideal clients. It may be clients you already have that you know just by asking if they'd be interested in a bigger package or more or a different thing or a unique way of working that they would say yes you have the inkling you have the intuition you just haven't acted on it yet so i want you to think of three people this week i love that number three i want you to think of three people that you are committing to ask and i want you to comment in the feeds below right so maybe it's a speaking opportunity you know an organization that has an opportunity to, the, for you to speak and just by asking you can get on their stage and deliver your message and talk to lots of people instead of one person at my last event i can tell you there are at least four or five people who got on that stage only because they had the courage to ask me only because and and the things that's happened in their business and their lives since have been exponential but they simply just sent me a message and asked <laughs> and because I I am I honor this way it was a good fit for me as well and I said yes and you know exponential things have happened for their business so is there an opportunity that you can speak somewhere that you can get on a webinar that you can talk to your ideal client whatever it is for you I want you to just commit and we know part of this process every Monday is being accountable to each other, right? So you know I'm going to jump on afterwards, read all of your comments, and hold you um, in my prayers and in my intentions that those things manifest for you. But I want you to go ahead and share what you're committing to ask three people this week. I'm going to share mine. I'm going to be this, this I've been playing pussyfooting around with this for long enough. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I am. Uh, making a big reveal. So I'm bringing my event to the UK in September. That's a huge leap of faith for me. And so this week, I'm going to ask three people if they would be willing to co-host an event with me in June in the UK. Very informal, just bring people together. I'm going to do some teaching and just share my work with the intention to invite those people or, in, or ask those people to collaborate with me to fill my event in September. So that's me. I'm committing to leap, 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 leap out there, find three really like, you know, people that I know have, have large networks 
and ask them if they would partner with me to co-host an informal event in June where I do some teaching and we invite people together to come experience me. So that's me. How about you, Amber? What are you, what are you being inspired to ask? Yes, so um, I'm actually, I have a women's um, kind of business support group on okay. Facebook, yeah. and I'm looking at turning that into um, essentially a way to earn money while I sleep, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easy and relaxed, passive income, I'm all about it, yes. Um, but in order to do that, I really need to get some big names on board who are ready and willing to give business advice because it's going to be a mastermind group for people in business so okay. ways to overcome obstacles that sort of thing so i'm going to be reaching out to three heavy hitters um and asking them to be a part of this wow all right let's do it girl and so it is how about you you are you see like that just you just knew right as soon as i said who do you need to ask you you just you in, you intuitively knew who who you need to go to right so we all do. So I know that you know who those three people are, and I'm asking you, hey, go ahead and tag them. Make it even better, <laughs> right? But at least, at the very least, make a commitment in our comments below, and please go ahead and check out our Science of Getting Rich group. I've, I've included it in the description. Go ahead and join us, because when we get off on Mondays, that's kind of where we continue the conversation, and we continue to support you throughout the week. So make sure that you're a part of that group. Have a great week, everyone. I can't wait to get back and see your comments, see all the things, that, the ways that you're going to ask this week, and look forward to supporting you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Bye, Amber. Bye.